What's up guys, Brian back to do an unboxing of Geek Fuel. Monthly Geek Box subscription. Geeky goodness inside, great stuff. August 2016. Um, I know the big thing about it is just like all the boxes this month are the Suicide Squad. It's a feature item on there too. And it's late in the day. We just got it today, August 25th. Uh, I just worked all day, went to the gym, got this guy in the mail, and uh, I'm excited to see what it is. So, so when I get the box, I want to open them, and here we go. Here you go. Nothing. Good. All right. So we got boom. We got that. Let's see what we got. And there's like Transformers and stuff on there too. So, all right. Suicide Squad magazine. Like there, Joker on the back. What'd you think of that movie? Did you like it? Hate it? Think it was stupid? Overrated? Really down? I don't know. So let's see. This is a box. This is a Pokemon Geek Field Go travel pouch. There you go on the way to the gym. Just making a quick stop. Geek Field Go has you covered. It's perfect. For long journeys when you need to travel light but keep the essentials close at hand, Geek Fuel Go Travel Pouch is the first in a series of many exclusive products that will help you be on the very best as you travel across the land. This is what it says, I just didn't make that up. So let's see what this is about. Travel Pouch, and it's a travel pouch. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of cool. And, uh, so yeah, it's a travel pouch. You got a thing on the back for something in here. I don't know if this is like a pad or something. Oh, it's coasters. Yeah, it looks to be coasters on there. And it's like a, literally a travel pouch. And it's one of those things that you can, you can rock. When I was in PT school, my uh, one of my teachers used to have one of these. It was hilarious because you would keep all our things in here and it's like the new pocket protector kind of thing so it looks kind of whatever <laughs> but that's what it reminds me of a little pouch on there coasters or something all right on the next we got a looney tunes mini series collect them all got some cool things on there let's see who we get looney tunes and I haven't seen Looney Tunes or anything like that in forever. Being a child of the 80s, I used to watch that cartoon kind of thing. Pinky and the Brain and all that stuff. But this is Looney Tunes. I guess it was Tiny Tunes or something. Either way, see what we got. And we got a... Alright. A Bugs Bunny. Two of 20. With some lipstick on or something. I don't know what that is. But it's that guy right there. What a for like Tasmanian devil or something. But we got a bugs or something. There we go. Let's see. Looks good. Alright. We got this is a box. Transformer style. Oh, t shirt in the box. T shirt in the box. What's in the box? Optimus Prime up in here looks like. Pretty cool. So I can't see it as you can see. Transformers evidently. And it is old school Optimus Prime. I like it. I like it. I like old school Optimus Prime. I like old school Bumblebee too. One of my favorite toys that I don't have that I will eventually have to buy on eBay is the Soundwave toy from the 80s. It uh, turns into a cassette player, and it's a little small, little stupid thing. I think it's like 100 bucks on eBay now, but they're kind of cool. Soundwave guy from there. We got a pin, a Geek Feel pin, Feel collectible pin, just a little Geek Feel symbol on there. Mm -hmm. Anybody collect these pins? What do you do with them? I don't know. I don't know what to do with them either. We got a... Dungeon Rift. Kill everybody on the level, grab the loot, and move to the portal. But what's that? The monsters are following you, and blah, blah, blah. It's a Steam game, and of course, here is the code. Give it to you there. You can see the glare. It's not too bad. I 
probably won't do it. So there you go. Steam game, Dungeon Rift, downloadable game, Monster Magnet set. So there's a magnet set of the game. One more time if you missed it. There's the code. I know I won't use it, so if you guys like it, I'll always put it there. You'll be the first one to jump on it. Suicide Squad Rebirth. Dynamic Forces Inc. and Geek Fuel has issued a certificate of authenticity the copy of Suicide Squad Rebirth number one Geek Fuel exclusive cover as one of the limited edition series. So, all right, that's what we got. Sorry, Suicide Squad Rebirth on there. So, didn't really get what I thought we would get, like a cool item or something from Suicide Squad. The shirt is the Transformers. Boom. You're rolling out and looking amazing in these Transformers propaganda t-shirt. So that's it. That's in there. Nothing in there. The geek feel. Come on there. So the shirt. It's probably the coolest thing. The Suicide Squad Rebirth. The gang's all here. Check out this incredible first edition Suicide Squad Rebirth comic. Get the lowdown of DC's most dangerous gang. You may be one of the luckiest few to get the rare cover. I did not get the rare cover because the rare cover was black and white. And the one I had a color version clearly, but the black and white version is there. So it's that one. That's the thing. Got the uh, collectible enamel pin. The T Looney Tunes Kid Robot miniseries. That's all, folks. Then we got the Geek Fuel Dungeon no, Series, the downloadable Steam game, Dungeon Rift. Hopefully you got the code. I put it on there a bunch of times, but let's see that. And this is the pouch, designed for geek feelers who go and need to travel far and wide to become the very best. This pouch is the most helpful companion a trainer can have. And comes with these, the travel pouch, bone like that. All right, that's that. So, Suicide Squad's the what was the uh, tr I think the the big uh, item for it. But we got this and the magazine. So I guess that's what it is for it. They always have cool stuff inside that you got to pay extra for. I wish we would get one of these cool things, like the Hellboy vinyl figure or something like that. <laughs> Even the Daryl Dixon bag that I actually have. I have that bag right there. I didn't buy it through them, but got it on Amazon. I believe it was a little bit cheaper. And da -da -da -da. I didn't make the unboxers. So screw you, Geek Fuel. No, I'm just kidding. Nerd therapy, yeah, great. And da -da -da. just reading the cosplay stuff. Top ten jokers. Top ten jokers there. I'm going with Dark Knight Joker as the winner, flat out winner, that's what it says. I think he's the best, and then I love the Jack Nicholson Joker as well, so it's between those two for myself. Arkham Joker's pretty good from the uh, video games, Arkham Asylum. Suicide Squad Joker was pretty weak, just because it was a weird Joker for the, for the movie. But I'm going with Dark Knight Joker. What do you think out of all these Jokers? I guess you could say Mark Hamill was a Joker too, because he's the voice of the Arkham Joker. Pretty good. Oh, it was actually Troy Baker's voicing of the Joker in the Arkham Asylum game. I guess uh, Mark Hamill was a different Joker in the, the uh, different thing. Let's see if it says it anywhere. But I know he was the voice of a Joker. But there you go, guys. I don't know. It's kind of crap. I was excited for this. But t-shirt's probably the coolest thing. I don't know, Geek Feel, you started off good with my first loot with my first crate I got. It was like Deadpool and a couple other things. It's probably one of the coolest things I got. But I don't know. It's hit or miss. And way more miss than hit right lately. So there you go guys. Like, share, subscribe. See what we got. Got other unboxings, other videos. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching.